Welcome to the Vibe. Are you here for a tour? I live here. I moved into 203 about a week ago. I'm having a slight issue with my neighbor. Oh, you're Josh, right? It's so good to meet you. I'm Megan. I'm the community manager here. I think you toured with one of our sales associates before. How are you enjoying the Vibe so far? Does the music really need to be this loud? It's controlled by our corporate team. Each of our buildings across the country is playing the same song right now at this exact volume. Can we please go somewhere quieter? You may have noticed in our welcome email that we have a partnership with the health center next door if you want to get that leg checked out. I see that you're limping. I hope you're okay. I have cerebral palsy. Oh. I get the sense that you're not enjoying your experience so far. Look, lady, Me I'm sorry, what's your name again? Megan? Megan. I don't know what the vibe is supposed to be here, but my neighbor's been extremely loud since I moved in. Like there's a constant banging and shouting. And with the pressure I'm under at work right now, plus the recent changes I've been dealing with in my life, it's been difficult for me to just get through a full day already without having some kind of meltdown. Do you know which unit is making the noise? 201. I know I'm not being unreasonable. It's extremely disruptive. Trust me, I understand. This is not the first noise complaint about 201. Really? So you know about this? Who lives there? I mean, I assume it's a family, but they have to know it's not okay to let your kids run around like savages when you live in an apartment building. We are not allowed to disclose information about other tenants, but don't worry, I will send this to our community director right away. I will need you to submit a formal noise complaint. Sure, how do I do that? I'll do it right now. You'll need to download our mobile app, which is also where you'll learn about our latest events. We send text reminders the day of an event, but the app has push notifications, so you can figure out when we schedule an event and add it to your calendar directly from the app. We're hosting a movie night tonight in the sixth floor lounge if you're interested. Look, I'll be honest, I, I just want to live here and I'm not really looking for events. Are you sure? Our sales associate took notes on your tour. She said that you like movies and karate. I practice karate and kendo, which is a form of martial arts that involves a sword. Oh, that is really impressive, especially given your condition. You'd actually be a perfect candidate for our newsletter. Each month we choose a resident to feature in our community newsletter and I think you'd be a perfect fit. I just want the noise to stop. That's it. Okay, no worries. Let me know if you change your mind about the newsletter and I hope you feel better vibes tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving. My vibe is adventure. My vibe is relaxation. My vibe is fiber optic internet. Rooftop cocktails. Luxury. Private balconies. 24 hour concierge. Pool parties. Paying rent Bitcoin. What's your vibe? Home is where the vibe is. The Vibe. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but I think you're my neighbor. 
Yeah, I've seen you around. I just, I haven't had the time to come by and introduce myself. I'm Gabriella. I live in 201. Hi, I'm Josh. It's nice to meet you. And look, I am so sorry about all the noise. My daughter's just had a rough few weeks. You are the one that wrote the note, right? Yeah, it's just, I work from home and the walls are thin. Your unit was vacant for a while and I think Sarah got used to it. But we will try our hardest to be more quiet. Hey. I don't know what your plans are for the rest of the day, but since you're here, you're more than welcome to join us for Thanksgiving later. Just knock if you want to come by, okay? So how long have you lived in the building? Seven years now. When the new company took over, they started doing all these renovations. They've been wanting me to move out. I can see why you decided to stay. It's a nice neighborhood. Yeah, it is now. You should have seen it when we first moved in. But it was all I could afford after her dad passed. And again, I am so sorry about all the noise. She has her good days and her bad days. Yesterday was a bad day. What happened to your husband? It was raining. And a car hydroplaned. Caused a big accident on the freeway. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked about that. He swerved around the cars and he parked his truck on the side of the road. He wanted to help the other people. And he was hit by an oncoming car, just didn't see him. I'm sorry for your loss. People really don't know how to drive in the rain here. Holidays are a hard time for us. I had a similar experience, actually. I also moved here after my relationship ended. Oh my God. I'm so sorry what happened to her. She's alive. She's alive. We had some communication issues I wanted to make it work. She wanted me to leave. She drove me crazy sometimes, but she was my, she was my best friend. I'm, I'm sorry. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> are enough for me to think that you might continue to reach out. I am doing this in a voice note because I don't want my tone to be misinterpreted in a text. I, I don't want this to sound cruel, but I also need you to hear how serious I am. I know you have some things that you struggle with for reasons that are completely understandable, but that doesn't change how completely miserable you made me. 
For a long time, I felt guilty if I left you because of what you go through on a daily basis, and I thought I'd be a real piece of shit if I left my boyfriend who has a physical disability. But I had to remove those thoughts from my brain and remind myself that you are not a person I want in my life. You push everyone away. Just because you can justify the cause does not mean the effect of your behavior is excusable for the rest of your life. Just because you think you were dealt a bad hand doesn't give you the right to treat others like shit. Your presence is hard to be around. Your energy is dialed up to a 10 at a normal state, so when you are upset, it is like an explosion. I, I don't even know what the right word is. It's, it's, I guess it's your entire vibe. I need you to get this through your thick fucking skull. I don't want to hear from you again. Do not contact me. Do not respond to this message. Goodbye, Josh. I was thinking about our conversation the other day. I changed my mind. I want to retract my noise complaint about Unit 201. What do you mean? You said you were reporting it to your manager. It's really not that serious. I want to take it back. It sounded pretty serious the last time we spoke. I made a mistake. Sorry for the mix-up. No need to apologize. I dealt with the problem. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? 201 has been given an eviction notice. They have 30 days to vacate. You're kicking them out? Are you serious? You couldn't give them a warning or something? We already did. It's within our lease terms to evict them after this many violations. Violations? What are you talking about? I made a noise complaint so that you could talk to them or whatever, not evict them. We have been trying to evict them for a while now. Your most recent complaint gave me the leverage I needed with upper management to get the ball no, rolling. No, no, no. I'm not responsible for this. Oh, please don't worry. They will not know that it was you. Of course they will, but that's not the point. You can't do this to them. We take these complaints very seriously. We need to protect the culture and the vibe that we're fostering here. I revoke my complaint. I'll delete it. You can't. It's already in the system. Fuck your system. I'm sorry? Fuck your system! Please lower your voice. Or what? Are you going to evict me too? No. I'm not going to evict you. Why not? I'm not poor enough or fucked up enough. I'm too normal to be evicted, but different enough that you still want me in your stupid newsletter. If I was too much of a freak, you wouldn't want that either though, right? Then I'd be a problem. I can be a problem for you. Don't worry, I will be your biggest problem if you evict that family. I will make your life miserable. It's apparently what I do best. I asked you to please lower your voice. There are dogs here that bark all day. Are you going to evict them too? How about you kick out some dogs instead of women and children? That doesn't even make sense. We're a pet-friendly community here. We love dogs. Me too. I was even thinking about getting a dog so that maybe I don't kill myself, but I I didn't know who'd watch it when I travel for work. But then I met Gabriella and I thought, hey, maybe I could get a dog now. That might be nice. I bet Gabriella would be a great dog sitter. I'll kill every dog in this building if you evict that family. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I, I love animals. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to do the right thing. And I'm just trying to do my job. Which means kicking a family out on the street for what? A continued disturbance documented by multiple noise complaints, including yours. Do you know how hard it is to get a new apartment with an eviction on your record? She's been priced out of this whole neighborhood. She'd be lucky to find anything affordable now, even without the eviction. She told me she was laid off recently, and now she has to worry about this on top of everything. I mean, you can't even get a job without an address. It's a little bit dramatic to assume that they're gonna be homeless. No, this is exactly how things like this happen. I sympathize, but sometimes you need to separate an individual circumstance in order to make a difficult decision. It doesn't seem all that difficult for you, if I'm being honest. What benefit do you get from this? Not as Megan the employee, but as Megan the human being, if you even are one. Seriously, who are you? Behind this fake corporate facade of a person, who are you? The best thing you can do right now is not be the person who ruins this family's life. Okay. I need my manager's approval to reverse the eviction process. I will go find him. Please, just calm down. Thank you.
ahead, stop the music. Good job, guys, that was good. Now when the event starts, you need to play a lot louder, okay? I want everyone in the city to hear how much fun we're having. They need to look at this building and think, I have to live with those people. Okay. Xin Yan Hao. What? Hey, we have a bit of a situation happening downstairs. They're pretty good, right? Did you hear what I said? Corporate's gonna love this. Make sure you take a lot of pictures tonight. Josh from 203 is in the conference room and, and I don't think he's gonna leave. The guy with a leg? We need to reverse the eviction for 201. Why? Shit. Did you fix it? I need Is you to this wait. Your boss? I need you to wait downstairs for us, please. Okay, just give me five more minutes. So you didn't do it yet. Hey, buddy, you can't be up here. The mixer hasn't started yet. Don't ever call me buddy. You don't know me. You're Josh from 203. You like movies and karate. I'm Taylor. How was your first week with us? I'm not your buddy or your friend. I don't have any friends. And the one person who I met recently who could be my friend is about to have her life ruined because of me. I wish I could deal with the 201 situation right now, but we got a lot to do up here and not a lot of time. Mrs. Wong wants her kids to break for dinner soon and we still haven't finished our sound check. Do they live here? The Wongs are her featured resident for the month of November. So you refer to us by our names, but Gabriella and Sarah by their unit number. You don't treat them the same because you make less money off of them, am I right? I gotta go, the mixologist is here. Let's circle back on this next week, okay? Megan, you got this. What? I don't believe this. I'm sorry, we, we can schedule a time for Monday. I'll get him to change it when we're not as busy. Wait, you can't cancel the eviction yourself? What kind of organization gives you the resources to host 500 events each week, but not any authority to do something that matters? He has different permission settings. We have to do it from his account. So get his password or use his laptop. Do something. You said you would take care of this today. I said I would try. Try harder. We said we would do this next week. What? Why should I believe you? Your job is to lie to people. No, my job is to build and foster Stop community by empowering our I residents to be their most authentic selves. Jesus Christ, would you shut the fuck up? You don't care about anyone here. I finally downloaded your app, and now I'm getting all these ads for your buildings in different cities. You guys have like 60 locations and more on the way. So how about you tell your boss or his boss or your jerk off CEO to stop with the performative bullshit and actually do something with the amount of reach and money you fucks have. Like instead of telling employees like you to do whatever it takes for slightly better margins to make a little bit more money that won't even make a difference when you're blowing thousands on events and millions on new buildings, your company could be doing something good by helping Gabriella and Sarah right now today. But you have no sense of urgency because you have no use for them. You don't even care about the noise or my complaint. You've wanted them gone for a while. They've probably been on some internal list you guys have. Can we just be honest about what's going on here? I know the reason and so do you. I just want to hear you say it out loud. Fine. We can renovate and lease that unit at three times the rent. Yes, there is a list, but they are not the only residents on it. This is not personal. This is a business. I thought it was a community. What do you want me to say? I told you we would stop the eviction. Fuck your community, fuck your newsletter, fuck this rooftop. This place is a joke, you're a joke. This should take you two seconds to fix. I need something to go right. Do you understand me? I need this, please. I need someone that I met in my life to not be completely fucked over by my existence. I can't go back to my apartment until you make this right. I need you to do this. And I need you to relax before I call the police. I get that you're angry, but that does not give you the right to treat me like shit. Are you done? What is wrong with you, you fucking asshole? I'm sorry. <laughs>
My vibe is live music on the rooftop lounge. My vibe is fun. Cool parties. Networking in the community lounge. Home is where the vibe is. Home is where the vibe is. Vibe. Vibe. Vibe.